Hey everyone, welcome back. This is actually going to be the final part for Life is Strange episode 1, Before the Storm. I thought part 3 would be the final part, but I was mistaken. But anyways, this has been such a good episode, like... I cannot wait to see how this ends and to play the next two episodes. And this is so much better than what I expected. And I didn't it's not that I expected Ooh, that out of it. It's just Hey, check this out. What? I just didn't think it would be this good. I'm curious to know why Rachel is so upset out of nowhere. I mean, like, Moony Queen, like, legit me, but, like, at least tell Chloe. Great. It's a pile of trash. Uh, yeah. An awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit there. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? Right? I'm gonna confront her. There we go. I've heard that actors are moody, but... Wow, Rachel. I'm not moody. I just need some space. Is that alright with you? Okay. Actually, no. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. I don't understand, girl. No, I don't understand. You can't just turn on me for no reason. I'm sorry, turn on you? I guess I forgot. It's always about how you feel, isn't it? Sad Chloe's fucking sad again. Maybe you should try giving a shit about other people for once. Are you serious right now? Fuck! Ugh. Uh... Okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel. But apparently she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. Score. Honestly, I need a man that has the mindset of Chloe. She's such, like, she has a big heart. Especially for girls she likes. Give Rachel a bat. A couple swings, girl. Come Here. On. If you really want to smash something, this should do the trick. Oh. Uh. <laughs> okay. I don't like that look. I asked you to leave me alone. No. Are you kidding me? I, I know you're the school princess and all, with the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass, but seriously, fuck you. Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait! Don't go! Oh my god. Why not? Because... Because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this, exactly? Mm. I mean... Fuck. Are you actually going to make me say it? Say what? You know, like, a friendship. But more. Ah. I know. Weird, right? It's just, today was the best day I've had since, since my dad died. And when I almost ruined it just now, the way I ruin everything, it made me realize 
whatever's going on between us is special. Come on, say something. Chloe, I... I... You know what? Forget it. This was really stupid. I mean, you're Rachel Amber, and I'm Chloe Price. It's not that. It's just hard right now. And I can't talk about it. Why not? Why not? Because I can't. I know it isn't fair, but it's how it is. I would totally do this. Oh. I just press any... Okay. Cool. You know she's fake, yet you can't take your eyes off her. Who else do I know who fits that description? Yeah! Fuck off, Rachel. Did your heart on for cameras, Max. You took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. Fuck cameras. If you want to rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Fuck you, David. You see, I don't like that look. Dad, what? Oh no, oh my god. <laughs>
poor Chloe. Oh, my heart. No, another flashback. Why are you crying, sweetheart? Because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. What the? What is going on? What's past is prologue and shit. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. Rachel. Hey, where's my marker? Oh, there it is. Gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel, you might say? <laughs> she nearly took your head off. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. Dad used to hate it when I wrote on shit. I guess I did that? I think this is a dream, actually, not a flashback. Sometimes, people need you, though. Definitely a dream. Or a hallucination, something like that. Even when they don't admit it. that the entire game I swear oh shit it's night already
You came. I'm glad. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Oh. All right. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh. Ouch. The worst part is... <laughs> I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I, thought I could catch him or something. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't... I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Chloe... I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was gonna die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and... He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. You trusted him? Completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. Hey, we were both kind of the queen of shitty. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome. And you had the courage to tell me that you feel it too. And I treated you like shit. Courage? I don't know if I'd call it that. More like blind desperation. And maybe a slight buzz from that wine. I just want you to know... I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? You dropped that one guy with a bottle to the face. Only because you showed up at the last minute and... What about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan? You got right in his face and called him out. That was pretty sweet, actually. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with Fuck your dad. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. 
What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. Music. Can I borrow your lighter? Thank you. All this music, still mysterious. I love it. serious wow let's see if it gives me a little sneak peek for the next episode you attacked you were kind and joyous you defended Nathan you told Rachel you more than just friends it looks like I'm the majority for all of these I'm not used to being in the majority. <laughs> so I'll feel good about this one. <gasps> oh. No one steals from me! Oh no. I want my fucking money! Oh no. <laughs> Is it because of the money I stole? Oh my god. Okay, you guys. That concludes the ending of episode one. Oh my god, I loved it so much. Let me know what you guys think 
stuttering, oh my god, I just have no words, it was such a good episode. Like, better than I expected, and I have high hopes for episode 2. Like, I cannot wait to start this. But thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a like, a comment. Let me know what you think and what decisions you made. I love you all. Bye.